engineering a uh, software management this lab directive so the software for downloading is either wget or url any of this we can make use for installing yum directly we can install it. the software this is not a major exercise for all of you in interviews they may not ask this uh, administrative kind of task but till now whatever you have learned will be asked so this is called as a package manager just start the lab so roll back and downgrade a previously m means you have installed you want to remove that so roll back means to remove so both things we will learn both things we will learn that is i mean install and uninstall so the third part is install from aws cli that also we are going to learn <clears throat> Understood everyone? These are the three things which we are going to learn. So let us start the lab. Very simple labs, this one. Already we have done multiple times how to install uh, uh, what we call as uh, this uh, web server. The same thing, yum install, we are going to. Manually also we are going to use CS, uh, curl to download. Once the file is there, how to run the setup? We call as in, uh, install, okay? That also we are going to do. So just start the lab. Yeah, my lab is ready. So I just get down the details. Let's say show. Download DPK. Twenty two. So ready everyone with this lab, task number one is done. Yes, sir. Yeah, anyone else wants me to wait? Yeah. Ready everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So task number 24. Task number 24. You can go to company folder. See, this is one update. You can check update if there are any updates which are there from the net. Okay, so run this particular one. I don't think any updates will be there, but still you can run. Yeah, nothing is there. Nothing is there. So sudo yum hyphen y. Yum is uh, a kind of uh, update modifier. Uh, that is uh, package installer. So to check any updates, like we have security updates in Windows, right? which updates coming across weekly to like that here. Is there anything manually you are checking? There are no, no updates which are uh, running. So this is the first one. And also you can run the next one, sudo uh, security. Say any security updates, first one is check updates. If there are, you can upgrade. Nothing, nothing. Everything is up to up to mark. Everything is up to mark. This is only general instructions for you all. So this is yum upgrade. If there are any OS upgrades, you can make use. Nothing. All three are fine. Fantastic. If there are any, you can run. So now let us learn about how to install HTTPD software. 
HTTPD means is your uh, web browser, web web server software. So the sudo yum install, yum install HTTPD hyphen y, hyphen y. This is point number 28, which will install uh, in single shot. All related packages and dependencies also will be installed. You say hyphen y, it will automatically take as yes. Press that. So it is installing, it is downloading, it is installing, verifying, all things done. So software is ready now. You can see here. So first one is that these are the following softwares which requires uh, HTTPD. It is downloading here. You can see downloading packages. Sorry, downloading packages which is downloaded here. It is installing and verifying. All things are done. The package is installed. Got it, everyone? Yes. So the package is ready now. That's all. This is how you install packages. Suppose if you want to remove, if you want to remove, roll back. How do you do? You can say sudo yum remove. Okay, there is a, another method. You can use yum remove also. So he's asking to understand the history, history list, what all you have done using yum. So you can do that. It will tell you, you have done, one is uh, installation has been done, history, yum history list. So it has specified that there is an install package happened. Understood everyone? So you are asking history, what was done to the server previously? There was an installation of HTTPD has been done. Yeah? Understood? If you want information, you can ask history information. It will tell. History, you can ask for info and say one, the first ID. It will tell when it is installed, what all dependencies are there, etc., etc. This is all information. Maybe sometimes it will help you. January 9th, it has been installed on so and so date, etc., etc., all those things. Okay. And you want to roll back now. Roll back is just say undo. Just say undo. How to do that undo? You can say, in, say in, instead of info, you can say undo. Means that whatever has been installed, please remove that. The first one, first one. So it will undo, it will remove. Yeah, is it okay? Yes. It is erasing. Everything has been erased. Everything has been erased. No more. Again, you need to install. This is how you can roll back. Or you can also say yum remove. And if you know, if you know the package name. Understood? <laughs> okay. So this is uh, what we call as task number three. This is one method. Automated installation. You can tell the package name automatically to download from the server or from the net or from local server, wherever it is. It will install. It will download, install everything. You need not do anything. You need not do anything. Now, let us learn about a different method. A different package also, not this, uh, what we call as uh, uh, HTTPD. We are going to install something which is called as uh, Amazon CLI. Let us learn that. Ready everyone for task four? Yes, sir. Okay, I think Python is already installed. You can just verify that. You can just verify that by clicking this Python. Python version, it will display. Yeah, it is already displaying. Python is there, 3.716. Along with the operating system itself, the Python has been installed. Uh, 
Understood? Yeah, so I think for CLI, you require this one, uh, Python and PIP, PIP3. Let us check, 34 number, whether this is installed or not. So let me check. Yeah, this is also installed. This is also installed. It, will, it is showing PIP20.2.2 version has been installed. Fine. These two are basics which are there. Now let us get this uh, CLI package. AWS one by imagine that there is a package you want to download. So as I mentioned that how you can download curl C U R L. So curl is a software where it will if you have a URL it will download from that internet itself. So there is the URL it's also given here point number thirty five just copy this one. So once this is downloaded you have this uh, uh, say Amazon AWS CLI dot zip file will be downloaded zip file will be downloaded yeah it has downloaded 57 mb very fast you can verify also this red color which has been downloaded yes or no yes sir okay so now the yes, file sir. is downloaded we need to install this one it is in a zip format. What you should do? You should unzip that. Unzip. Unzip. Then the files will be there. You can see this one unzip. So you can uh, unzip. This is point number 36. Unzip AWS CLI. Yeah, it has unzip. All the files it has unzipped to AWS. AWS, there is a folder called as AWS. You have several files related to AWS. Yeah, you can see there is an install file also. So now you need to install the software. Install the software. We have downloaded, we have unzipped. Now you can say unzip and then install. How do you do that? sudo AWS install. I just shown you there is an install command. You need to run that like setup in uh, Amazon uh, in your Windows. Here we have install. Yeah, it is done now. It is done. In one go, the installation is done. Now let us verify whether installation is done. You can say AWS help. It should run. It should run. AWS help. This is point number 38. That, yeah. The manual page is showing. Help is a manual page. It is showing if you for quit. You can say once again. Yeah, it is showing that. You for quit. That is done. For task number four is done. If you are seeing AWS help is functioning, perfect. So there is an optional task five, but still we need to do this. So you learned about in task four, how to download, unzip, and also how to install. Done everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So in this task five, this is an additional one. How to configure your CLI. This is not download or install, which is already done. How to configure. So the command is AWS configure. So you'll be learning more in uh, subsequent classes. So now it is AWS configure. So when you start your cloud practitioner uh, CLF classes, this is very, very essential. So just run AWS config configure. So it will ask four questions here. It will ask four questions. The first question is key ID. At this point of time, we don't have any key ID. Don't worry. Just press enter. It will also, you also need a secret key, access key ID. At this point, I don't have anything. Just press enter. So default region name. Oh, okay. You can expect a default region name. Uh, the region name is US West-2. 
that is Oregon region. You can just mention that. You can uh, US West hyphen to. So later classes, you need to do this. US West hyphen to and output format is JSON. JSON or TXT, you can write. Otherwise, you can press enter also. It is done. This is how you need to configure. In subsequent, today's uh, Linux, we don't require that. He is making you preparation that tomorrow how to configure CLI. So this is the way you have to configure. You have to download using curl, install, and then configure. Okay, from here onwards, you can leave it. You can leave it. No need to do. This is for an instance for this. This we will subsequently learn. So up to this, if you have done, fantastic. Up to, I think, 44 we have done. 44. Uh, if you want to check whether it has been correctly, properly done or not, you can just verify. You can just verify. So where we are. So if you say cat dot AWS and say credentials. Yeah, config, config. You can see that. So whatever we have done, region and output is available here. It should show you. Credentials will show you the, if you have successfully given the user, I mean, access key and secret access key, it will show you those two but we have not given anything, it's okay. So if you see config, then that's uh, that's okay. So with this 45, we have completed successfully. Yeah, anyone, any uh, subsequent questions, if you have, please ask.